If you want to be able to buy the most expensive players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EA FC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. With their already amazing prices, you can get an extra 6% using promo code INCEPTION at checkout. Okay, guys, let's go check out uh, the new content today. War a day for me. I think it's a fullback, honestly. I could be wrong, but it's Grimaldo, right? That's the one that they... Uh, they leaked earlier. Let's see. Um, Miguel Almiron. I, I wasn't going to do these two showdowns. Those were just kind of boring for me. This week, uh, SBC content-wise is not really that exciting. They definitely need to uh, juice that up a little bit for the new week. Okay, so Grimaldo. 5'7", high, high. 4-star skills. 5-star weak foot. Mostly explosive left-footed player. In-game play styles. Um... Power shots, dead ball, with pass, anticipate plus, incisive pass are far more accurate. Sword passes are delivered with more with maximum curve. And precision passes that travel at top speed at the destination. Jockey, technical, rapid, and relentless. Okay. Uh, a strangely formatted card. Yeah, he's strangely formatted. I say strangely formatted because I think they could have made his pace a little bit higher so that you can provide him with the um so that you can provide him with the anchor chemistry style right if you give him an anchor right now i think the pace is just too low i think improving that as much as possible is going to be ideal but it's also not just a pace situation you also increase the defensive stats so i think that's like a really really key thing to take a look at as well with this grimaldo card um yeah. Shadow chemistry style will boost him to be in a pretty good area. Shot power, long shots. He actually has long shots. Look at that. I wonder if that's like ideal. Like if your finishing is super low, but you have long shots, like could I technically give you a gladiator and you're just a good center mid? You know what I'm saying? Like that's what I'm thinking too, right? Because it's uh it's gladiator. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, so Gladiator is the plus 12 for finishing, and then you give him the defensive boost. Do I think it's mostly a card you use as a left back? Probably. I know some people like to use the left backs as center mids, so they use players like uh, Roberto Carlos there, you know? But I think with the Grimaldo, the five-star weak foot's nice with the Anticipate Plus, you know? It's got some decent play styles to work with. Passing on the cards in a good area. Dribbling is also in the 90s area. So as the attacking oriented fullback could definitely be very nice. Um, and then for physical, he's got a 99 for stamina as well. So it looks like an interesting one. I think the links to the Bayern Leverkusen players, Spanish players, Bundesliga, just depends on the types of uh, links you're going for. But that's why I give him the shadow, right? It's the plus seven, plus six. Maybe in the future, if there's like an evolution that comes out, where you know you can give him an anchor and his pace is increased even more that's also something to take a look at right if they actually do drop an evolution for him in the future but for now it's definitely a shadow flex for him and you just work with the physical being lower unless your defensive tactics is like very conservative for the most part right but um yeah we'll go ahead and unlock the card and i'll show you guys how we line him up okay so for grimaldo um I mean, guys, I just the price of the card is like 80k. It's it's looking pretty good. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Like, it's that's pretty nice. Um, so this is actually perfect because Nawizi has a four triple two that people want me to review. Um, so we're gonna set that up, and in the instructions, it's actually perfect for the review because it's joining the attack overlap. So if he gets involved in the attacks, we'll add the goals from that, and then the goals will be separate in the tactic video if I end up liking it. So I tried the 4-3-2-1, and I could make a video on it. I don't personally enjoy that formation. It is... I don't know if it's the best. I don't... I, see, the thing is, before the patch, I think it was the undisputed formation. It's kind of like a little bit iffy now, but it's still really good. You know, it's one of those ones. It's such a rat formation, you know? But this 4 triple 2 I'm very curious to see, because people have been raving about it. So I'm curious to see how it uh, performs in-game for sure. But uh, yeah, let's try him out in the left-back position. He's on overlap, so you can kind of test him out naturally when it comes to the attacking stuff i just have to make sure i turn on the play style so that you guys can see that stuff nah this guy is different bro this guy is different this guy is different this is the best this guy 
I can already see it right away. This guy's the this guy's the best at custom tactics. It's it's disgusting. Oh, we almost scored that too, like Ronaldo. First two, a good stuff, Grimaldo. Ah, uh, do I get that? No, no chance. A little bit forced there. First two, it's nice. And beauty. Beauty, beauty, good stuff. I should have lobbed that initially to Grimaldo, for sure. Would have been a good spot, for sure. challenge nice try would have been nice if we scored there oh nice try we had deflection there there we go take those Beauty. Nice finish. Thank you, sir. Beauty, good stuff. Build up play here. Oh, never mind. Oh, Grimaldo. Shoot. Oh, of course we don't. Hit. We of course we don't score against this absolute rat, man. Oh my goodness. Okay, it's okay. Eat that rat. Oh. Gonna be out. Your first time pass. Gonna get the touch here, yeah. Oh. Oh yeah, he's not gonna be crazy at those. Registration there. Force pass. We do get the ball though. There we go. I get that. Eat it, 
get rats. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. There we go. Pass it off. Nice lob, go back. There you go, go back again, yeah. Wait for that, there it is. Go in, go in, go in, and bang. Almost, almost, almost. There you go. Oi. Good, good, good. Keep it going, keep it going. Driven. Ah, uh, should have done. A, I should have done a ball roll driven. You gotta do the FIFA mechanic stuff. Nice. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that. From all the well position to receive that. Not a foul, right? Good. Pass out. First time. There you go. Good stuff. Yep. Nice. We're good. Just dribble quickly. There you go. Back to the goalkeeper. There we go. We're good. Nice. Oh, I, I mistimed it. Would have been a good play. That's a goal right there, boys. Grimaldo. Thank you, Grimaldo. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I wish, man. Beauty, good job. Pass it up again, there you go. Let's do a incisive. 
think it's incisive. His, his driven passes, regardless, are nice. Oh, it's Croy, you and your, your side foot is my G. Or a FIFA mechanic. This guy with the side footed man. Holy. His side foot, he does side footed so much, I would bench him just for that, honestly. He's vibing, he's vibing. A little dirty blade, dirty blade. A little dirty blade, dirty blade. Oh! Oh, he actually touched the last. Okay, good, good, good. Very good, very good. Huh, imagine. I'm gonna come close here, actually. And then do this. And then do that. And then we score. Okay, a uh, very good, a uh, very good. Give me that left stick or I will retire. And I won't get that, no chance. Yeah, yeah, no chance, no chance, no chance. Oh, I mistimed it. His finishing is low though, so it's not really gonna be like a key thing to work with him there. But uh I did mistime it to be fair. Oh, this defending is on fire. Draw Grimaldo. Ah, uh, finishing is not high enough. Oh, get it, get it, get it. There you go. That's my boy. Dribble, good dribble. Oh, let me switch there, man. Oh, Give me that. You have, you have anticipate, bro. Come on, on delay. Angled run. Oh, no finesse shot there from uh, my boy Best. Oh. It's a dead ball situation. I don't even know how I got the free kick, but I will definitely take it. This is what Grimaldo was meant for. Oh, yeah. Move your keeper. Move your keeper. Just like real life, huh? With a Grimaldo. Pass it off. There you go. Read that space there. Bang. Touch. There you go. Given. Again. No, it's a Grimaldo game. Give me that. Thank you. Oh, and I should have I should have done it earlier because he was already doing the transition on the on the attack. Game. Okay. And we'll score the tree bella. Beauty, beauty, beauty. Doesn't have the finishing to really consistently hit those ones. You could give him a finishing boost like a gladiator, but 
Yeah. Um. Okay. Yeah, we're good. That is good enough for the highlights. Very good. Okay, guys. So yeah, with fullbacks, I have to review like a tactic or something at the same time. You guys have wanted me to review uh, Nawizi's four triple two. Disgusting formation. We are definitely going to be reviewing that. Um. Shout out to that guy. He's literally the best person when it comes to meta and authentic tactics. I don't know how he does it. The four three two one didn't hit for me. Like the the new one that he posted, but the four triple two. This guy, I don't know if you guys don't subscribe to him, you're just weird. I just, I'm just letting you know, okay? Anyways, in this formation, Grimaldo was used as the attacking oriented fullback, so we can kind of test him out on the attack and defense. First of all, anticipate plus W, okay? Really, really huge W. For this formation, um, I didn't find myself needing to do too many through, through passes because it's a 4 triple 2 but guys, I'm telling you this right now. That play style, incisive pass, is crazy, okay? Especially in the fullback position. Because those through ball passes that you make to your side players is a huge meta in this game. Huge, okay? And the fact that he can pinpoint those passes specifically with assistance is huge, okay? Both play style pluses, W, okay? Dead ball, super noticeable. He has really good free kicks. We saw it uh, very, very clear. Clear as day, right? Whipped pass, got a couple with, with him. Jockey was nice. This is a very agile type of left back to use, right? Has relentless, has rapid, has technical. I don't know why this card has any, any dislikes, right? I, I genuinely don't know. Now, obviously, guys, when it comes to defenders, you guys know where I stand. I go for the apps. I would spend 10 million coins per defender in this game. I've And I have, I, I've not I have, because I don't, but I'm telling you that for the last like four or five years, especially for the new gen, I've told you guys like all the time that your main focus in your team should always be your defenders, right? So sure, if we're doing a comparison, this guy is still going to be that guy, right? Because he's a card that has more physical presence, right? That physical presence is a really, really huge thing to work with. The five star, four star, all that kind of stuff. But guys, come on, man, times 10 the price as well. Like we're like doing a comparison to that is dumb because you know what? I don't know about you guys. But I like to use different players, okay? And this card is a guy that gives you links to Bayern Leverkusen. So for some people, right, um, if they did not these guys, because these guys, I'm sorry to say, like, not really, like, crazy relevant. But if you got Frimpong, for instance, that's a cool little double link to work with for a nice little Bayern, Bayern Leverkusen link. Kostanu was someone that you could have got as well. Leverkusen, as well as that chemistry thing that he's working with, too. But yeah, the main one I would say is Frimpong. I don't know what Herodeki is like as a goalkeeper, so I couldn't comment on that. But for the link ups, you have to work with there. For the potential, actually, no, because he's most likely going to get a team of the season. Grimaldo's been disgusting this year. He's, he's going to get a team of the season. This card, I want to add another variable, okay? This is a very key one. So he strays away from meta in what? Only physical, okay? Because physical is important. So that's why when I did the... The, uh, the tier list for the showdowns, I still put Wolf as an A tier because Wolf is a lengthy with the physical, and that's a huge thing in this game, right? But I want you guys to take in something into consideration. Imagine these play styles with this card, and imagine EA drops an evolution for him, right? And you can make him either an anchor chemistry style player, because in my opinion, guys, I tell you guys this all the time, I need the pace to be perfect. I just need to. If it's a controlled lengthy with this acceleration sprint speed, I don't care. If it's a lengthy, it doesn't matter, right? But without it, you need it to be maxed out, right? But it's the physical in certain situations, sure, he'll be lacking. But is it lacking to the point where this card is not going to be fun to use in the meta of the gameplay? Absolutely not. Like, this card is really, really good. If you don't have Alfonso Davies and you actually like using different types of players, you see some nice link-ups with him in the future. You see an, a potential evolution in the future with an anchor chemistry style. It's looking nice. On a shadow, it's fun to play with these cards. They pass the ball well. Their dribbling is really good. The dribbling, I, I need the responsiveness there. You know what I'm saying? And he does that for me. The only thing that, I, that lacks with this card from time to time is obviously going to be physical presence, which is important in this game at the end of the day, right? But as the attacking-oriented left back, as someone that you could potentially use as a center mid, I would probably recommend maybe like a gladiator if you did that because the shooting is on the lower side. Uh, because remember, this card has the left mid position change. So if you're formatting your team a certain way where you want to line up in like um, a 4-3-2-1, four, a four, right? That's a very good example. 4-3-2-1. And this guy is your either stay back while attacking cover center player or your center mid that could potentially push forward as well. 
there you go, right? A card that has passing play styles, a card that has anticipate plus, like you can use them in those two different positions. So the price of the SBC is a W, the five star weak foot's a W, anticipate plus is really, really noticeable in game with him um, as far as you can because of this game, right? But the incisive pass, also another very key play style, guys, because using the side positions is a huge part in this game, right? And when you can do those through ball passes, it's gonna be massive. I do apologize because I did not turn on the play styles, but he did do it a lot for me, so. Very assisted passes. I don't know if you can tell. I know people like to play styles on so they can see it, but you guys get what I'm saying. Uh, but yeah, I had to play a lot of games with him. Had to uh, really test him out. It's just the physical. That's the only thing. But he's really good at everything else, honestly. Even his defensive capabilities. If he's going head on against someone because of Anticipate Plus with Jockey, it's fun to play with, man. The agile types of player to move left and right, you know? But yeah, 83 k W price for the SBC, 100%. I'll catch you guys for the next video, all right? Peace out, dudes. Love you guys. The 4 triple 2 we'll see if we can post afterwards as well, because affirmation's crazy.